Of all the phones we've tested, the best gaming phones are the ones with the performance, displays, and battery that can handle today's most demanding games. Of these phones, some are familiar flagship phones from big companies like Apple or Samsung, with the camera and software quality and price you'd expect as a result. Others, from companies like Asus, ROG, and Red Magic, are specifically aimed at gamers and have extra features like trigger buttons, enhanced cooling, and unique software. Neither is strictly worse than the other, it'll just depend on what else you want from your phone, if anything. To help you find the right model, we've listed the top six gaming phones and their key features, plus the things you'll need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number six, Poco X5 Pro. If you can't get enough of your mobile gaming, but don't have a large disposable income to spend on one of the all singing, all dancing flagships we've listed, then don't worry you can still get a great gaming experience at a lower price. For this purpose, we'd especially recommend the Poco X5 Pro 5G. Despite the sub $400 price, it boasts key gaming-focused features, including a 6.7-inch AMOLED display. With a smooth 120Hz refresh rate and 900 nits of brightness, along with support for HDR10 Plus for times when you aren't gaming, that's backed by a whopping 5,000 milliamp hour battery that can compete with most flagships for battery life. And a 108 megapixel main snapper does a decent job too. Of course, performance standards aren't the same level as flagship models, but they should be good enough to see you through your gaming sessions without too many problems. This great value handset is well worth a look if you want to game to your heart's content, but can't splash out on some of the bank-breaking options that excel in this area. Number five. Google Pixel 7 Pro. Google has another hit on its hands with the Pixel 7 Pro, and that includes for gamers. The Tensor G2 chip offers excellent GPU benchmark results and also enables unique Pixel features like live transition, photo unblur, and more. The cameras are also particularly good, with lots of post-processing going on there too to make scenes look attractive as possible. And at $899, it's a lot cheaper than comparable phones, especially for its size and camera quality. We wish the phone had better battery life though, as it's the Pixel 7 Pro's greatest weakness. But if you're not worried about running out of battery charge away from an electrical outlet, then there's little else to fault the Pixel 7 Pro for. Number four, iPhone 14 Pro Max. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is one of the very best conventional smartphones for gaming. As while it might lack gaming-specific features like physical triggers, it has something no dedicated gaming phone has access to, the A16 Bionic chipset. Benchmarks suggest this is more powerful than anything Qualcomm, Samsung, or MediaTek can muster. So, for sheer power, the iPhone 14 Pro Max is a top choice. That power can translate to better quality graphics and improved frame rates. Plus, more games will be well optimized for this phone than a lot of the Android competition, since it's such a popular handset. Add to that the wealth of games available on the App Store, not to mention the Apple Arcade subscription service, and this is a clear winner out on the gaming front. Its 6.7-inch 120Hz screen is large and high quality too, so games will look good, and its battery life exceeds that of most non-gaming phones, so you won't need to plug it in too often. Number three. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Samsung pulled off something incredible with the Galaxy S23 Ultra by dethroning the iPhone 14 Pro Max as the top gaming phone. And that's thanks to the new chipset. Not only does the Galaxy S23 Ultra still come with excellent cameras, a top quality display, and a generous battery capacity, it also uses a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chipset. This Samsung specific chip offers increased power over the regular 8 Gen 2 silicon and even the A16 Bionic chip, meaning you won't find a more powerful phone to game with. We still wish the phone was a bit cheaper and that it charged faster, and some of you may wish it had flat sides instead of curved ones, but you can't argue with the overall quality of the phone, including the Galaxy S23 Ultra's gaming abilities. 
If the price is a problem for you, keep in mind that the less expensive Galaxy S23 Plus and Galaxy S23 run on the same powerful Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy Silicone, though you will have to settle for smaller screens. Number 2. Red Magic 8 Pro GTE's Nubia Red Magic brand is built for gamers. Its latest release, the Red Magic 8 Pro, features built-in RGB lighting, an internal cooling fan, and haptic shoulder buttons that can be remapped in-game. Its styling and overall smartphone qualities can be debated, but it's clear that this device is made to game. The Red Magic 8 Pro sports the latest and greatest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 SoC with 12 or 16 gigabytes of memory an FHD Plus 120Hz AMOLED display, and a 6,000 mAh battery with 85-watt charging in China or 65-watt charging everywhere else. This equates to a fast and fluid gaming experience that shouldn't run out of steam before the end of the first game level. Once the large battery depletes, a super-fast charger should top it back up to a game-ready state in no time. Nubia has included the charger in the box. It's also one of the few high-end phones left on the market with a headphone port, making it great for competitive gaming. With its capacitive shoulder buttons, you're able to map different on-screen functions to be controlled off the display, freeing up your thumbs for additional controls. Its reasonable cost makes it a terrific value, if not strictly an affordable option. When you consider the hardware that you're getting, it has to be high on your list for price to performance and gaming-centric features. However, Nubia decided to cut back on the camera system, meaning that the Red Magic 8 Pro can't compete with devices from Samsung or Apple when it comes to image or video quality. Its in-display selfie camera also performs terribly, which is similar to many other in-display items. But if you're after a relatively affordable entry into a phone with Qualcomm's latest hardware and active cooling sounds like a benefit to you, definitely give this a look. Number 1. Asus ROG Phone 7 Ultimate the latest ROG phone certainly doesn't rip up the rule book. Sporting an almost identical design to the previous generation, the ASUS ROG Phone 7 Ultimate is a familiar sight with the chunky form factor and bezels of a much older device. However, that slightly outdated feel belies an incredibly powerful device. A Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset runs this show, offering some incredible performance and the cooling to back it up. Without the dedicated Aero cooler system sold separately, things can get a little heated when you push it to the max, but we were never uncomfortable during standard everyday gaming. That's not something we can say for the majority of the gaming phones out there. Pair that with a gorgeous screen, working particularly hard for you considering its resolution is just 2448 by 1080, and a beastly set of front firing speakers, and the overall experience is unlike anything we've experienced before. Everything is crisp and snappy thanks to the AMOLED display running at 165Hz. Meanwhile, the touch-sensitive triggers make sure you're taking every shot with excellent precision. The ROG Phone 7 Ultimate has even avoided software pitfalls that sometimes plague even the best gaming phones. The Armory Crate software neatly pulls all your games together while also serving as a hub for performance settings, frame rate limits, and screen recordings. It's not unusual to find these features split across several different programs clogging up a game phone, so this sparsity is a welcome relief. All of that makes the lofty price point all the more enticing, particularly if you're happy to invest in a high-end device. However, there is one flaw that may well stop you in your tracks. The charging USB-C port to the bottom of the phone is off-center. That means you won't be able to use the ASUS ROG Phone 7 Ultimate with the majority of mobile controllers, which often connect directly via the USB-C port. Bluetooth gamepads won't be affected, but if you're looking to use something like the Razer Kishi V2, you'll need to look elsewhere. Overall though, this is a serious piece of kit with a serious price tag to match. If you want the best of the best, ASUS is a good place to start, but there are some sacrifices you can make, and likely won't notice, if you do want to keep the cost down. So, that wraps up our list of the best gaming phones. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which gaming phone you're going to choose. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please give this video a like, and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.